Oops. Does it come with a battery? That's all we need to know. Contents have to be down here, dude. With the lithium drill. drill. It comes with a battery, dude. dude. That's it. We're good. All right. What if we, do? we have our drill. This will work. We have the bits, toggle bolts, good. And these to screw in, that'll work. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. We are in Lowe's, how many times have I filmed in Lowe's before? We made a quick run here this morning because I feel like with the gym, the projects never end. Like I have like a million little projects to do. This little project is installing fans. I already have a bunch of fans, but I wanna get them off the floor and we're gonna mount them on the wall so uh, yeah, we've got these, we've got all these thingamajiggers that I have no idea what they are, and uh, we're gonna hope we don't mess this up today. So uh, we got it all, dude. We needed this, right? We've gotten so many noise complaints. This would go right through, what's worse, a noise complaint, or hey, I'm sorry, my drill went through your they wall. I already hate us, so it probably wouldn't matter, dude. Thank you, have a day. Thank you. I may have said I don't know what I'm doing, guys, but um, thinking back just right now while I'm walking out of Lowe's, I remember when I first started the gym, I had no idea how any of this worked. And today, I was like, oh, to mount a fan, we need some toggle bolts, we need some drills, so I'm getting better. Okay, I, was, I had a sheltered childhood to, uh, to the point of not really doing any handy stuff, but ever since I got the gym, I'm like Tim Allen from Home Improvement. <laughs> Always keep your receipts, guys, if you own a business. Tax write-offs are nice. Because everyone in America feels like they pay too many taxes. Is that too political for YouTube, dude? Yeah, take it down, dude. Take it out. <laughs> Let's go. I'll carry it all. Thanks, dude. We're canceling everything. Dude. Yeah. Wow, finally a company that sends a product with a fully charged battery. So the process of mounting these to the walls, guys, this is the wall mount. These are toggle bolts, right? And what these are gonna do, we're gonna drill a hole big enough to go into the wall. You're gonna keep it flat like that. It's gonna go into the wall. Once it gets past the drywall, it's gonna split open like that and pretend the drywall is right here. Then you're gonna use a little bit of counter pressure to get this to screw flush against the drywall Pretend there's a little fan mount right here and it will hold itself onto the wall. So we've got the holes marked and now it's time to hang the first one. Bro, you know all the terms, dude? Yeah, I'm did, smart, dude. I thought you didn't know anything I'm smart, about dude. what you were doing. I'm smart. You know the terms, you know what you're doing. Okay, Stop dude. Six months into this and I'm a pro, dude. I'm ready to start Corey you're contracting. Fan mounts? Corey contracting, and you spell contracting with a K. Now they're open. Perfect. The mount's on the wall, guys. This is how it works. Like that. And all you gotta do is tighten these now. Don't worry, guys. This is temporary. Project this weekend is cord management. We'll run through. For now, this is fine. Instantly 10 degrees cooler. Second fan is going up right now, guys. Same exact thing. Big drill bit, big holes in the walls. Put the mount on, hang the fan up. Are you having fun yet? This is exciting stuff. You can pull it out now. There. All right, Connor's hanging this one up. There you go, it's gonna be pointing down. So close, yet so far to the plug. Really, I'm the plug, give it to me. Really, I'm the plug. So my thought process with these fans is since the ceiling here is, is so much higher, these ones are gonna be about 10 and a half feet off the ground. The ones that we just did were seven and a half feet because the ceiling right here kind of tapers down a little bit. So it just, it makes more sense to have those lower, these ones higher, one on each side of the American flag. They're gonna be shooting down onto the dumbbells. It's all about getting that circulation in here. Yeah, you, you signed a waiver, buddy, you're good.
Both of the fans are mounted. I don't have any extension cords to mount them up. So for now, there's just gonna be some hooks on the wall. But on Saturday, this place will feel like a tornado. That's all for the hanging today. Time to vacuum. All right guys, so we finished up hanging up the fans. We're gonna experience something together for the first time today, and that is Smash Burger. Chipotle's right over there, but I'm tired of Chipotle. We're smashing some burgers. Their logo looks a lot like GameStop, too. Is it Smash Burger or GameStop? Can I get a uh, craft your own uh, grilled chicken, please? You guys join my clan on Clash of Clans. I got a chicken sandwich. I feel like it's really hard to mess up a chicken sandwich. Ready for the taste test? Stay chicken good. sandwich taste test. Can they mess this up? Oh my gosh, dude. It's good. You know what it tastes like? What? A chicken sandwich. I think it's pretty good. Also, I posted this picture on Instagram and literally every comment is about my facial hair. That ginger tickler. This is the most ginger pick I've ever seen. If you're going to do it, you gotta go full beard. Coming from a guy with a full beard. If I could grow a full beard, guys, I would do it. This is literally all I can grow. I don't think they realize. Like, if I could grow a beard, like, yeah, it'd be sick to have, like, a, a big red beard, but this is it, guys. I'm gonna rogue in my face. How's the food, bro? It's good. My 550 calorie. These fries you got? Rosemary 550 rice. calories in those. And he says he can't gain weight. Can't gain, dude. For the last couple hours, guys, I've been doing a lot of R&D, research and development. Lots of research, no development, on ways to cool the gym. So there's no AC out there, right? And it would cost $10,000 to put AC, which just that makes no sense at all. I'm leasing this place. That is insane. And um, I'm thinking of ways how to cool it off. I'm coming to the conclusion that there's not going to be a great way to cool it off. I can get a swamp cooler, which is called an evaporative cooler, which would be great if I lived in the desert with very low humidity. In Oklahoma, the humidity in the summer is like 80%, so it's too high of a humidity level for that to be effective, and they're very, very expensive. It's like $2,000. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not going to buy that. So I'm thinking I'm going to make the lobby for now the cooled area. I'm going to get two portable air conditioners, which I know like very little about this stuff. I'm just like sitting here reading on on things to do to cool a warehouse that doesn't have air conditioning. And I think I'm going to do that so that the lobby eventually I hope will be like a cool zone and cool meaning when it's 120 degrees outside, it'll be 80 degrees in here, 85 if I'm lucky, but it will feel cold compared to the gym. And then I also ordered two new pieces of gym equipment. One, a dip station, the most requested thing it's legit, it's from Elite FTS, and I also ordered a standing calf raise from Elite FTS. And the thing that sucks about that, it's gonna take four to six weeks to get here. So by the time they show up, I'm just gonna be like, wait, did I order this? Did I order this? You guys see that where you order stuff and it takes forever? And then when it finally shows up, you're like, what is this? Did I, is this? Pre-workout mixed, one scoop of flight, one scoop of Indo Pump. We're doing chest tonight. Gerald's actually here. He hasn't been in a video in a long time. How you been, Jerry P? I've been doing good. People haven't seen you in a while. I hey, went to Austin, man. What you drinking, dude? Uh, Nikki B's uh, pre-workout. The real four. Nikki B, right? The real Nikki B. Nick Nat Bear. Nick yes. Bear. Yes, the real Nikki B. So it's got flight and some Indo Pump in here. Last couple workouts, guys. My something about my right shoulder. I think it's always because I'm on my cell phone. It's always like dipping in. Uh, but right now we're gonna do some spoto press. You stop what? Like two inches above your chest? Yeah. Two inches? About that much, dude. Come on. <coughs> nice. Pause it for a little bit. There you go. Nice. Nice. Come on. Come on. I, I work out sometimes at, at three in the afternoon. Yeah. Like it's hot as hell, but it's. 
I mean, it's hot, but I'd rather be sweaty than cold. Yeah, go to a cold gym and you'll come. The people will say, oh, I don't want it to be cold. Go to 10 gym. Go to a cookie cutter gym. Not here. Oh, this isn't a cookie cutter gym at all. This is, bear this is obtained, dude. VPN, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> dude. Jealous of their gym. You're about to get that dip machine from them. <laughs> Think about all the, the dips you're gonna get. How am I looking, Jerry? Uh, like you're doing some flies. Am I looking like I'm gonna leave humanity behind? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I'm leaving humanity behind. You know when you OHB, dude, you gotta put your head on backwards. Or else you, when you on the way up, you'll hit the bill, dude. Oh, okay, cool. That's a good life hack. Life hack, dude. Just wrapped up the workout guys. Great session. This is this is a product of not having air conditioner. Nice and sweaty. This is why. Our problem that we have right now is no AC. We're getting fans, we're taking care of it one day at a time. It's all you can do. So since I've had the gym sweating a lot, guys, like I was drenched, and this is just like a little tip for you guys, a life tip with Michael. If you wear a hat to the gym, it's gonna get sweaty. Think about if you leave that hat on your forehead and this is just like all dried sweat, you're gonna get some zits. So what do I do? I wash my hats at least once a week because this was like drenched. What do I do? Cold, medium water, I put a little laundry soap in there, I take a washcloth, dunk it in the water, and just kinda scrub it out and clean it. Look, I'm just a washing machine right here. Look, I'm my own washing machine. This is how they did it in the olden days. You just stick the hat in, you get it nice and soapy and clean it off. Finishing off the macros right now with two scoops of BPN. If you guys want a discount on this, you can use Cory. Save yourself some money. The flavor of cinnamon roll is on point, but my favorite from a mint connoisseur to you, if you like mint chocolate chip protein, check out their mint protein because it's really good. So uh, two scoops here. That's how I'm gonna wrap the night up. I will be back with more vlogs, guys. I missed you guys. I feel like I've let everyone down. I haven't vlogged as much just because like, I know I say it a lot, but the gym, guys, keeps me busy. And some days I'm like, people don't wanna watch what I'm, what I'm doing today. Surely they don't. But um, the thing that I like the most about it, and like what encourages me to post is when I feel like there's an actual connection, like there's a connection with the viewers. Like when you're watching it, like you leave a comment or you say like, oh, I really like the video. It's just like, that's what I like. Sometimes I feel like you post videos and there's like no comments. I'm like, where, where are you guys at? Where's all the people? But um, I'm back, guys. If you like the video, please give it a like. That means a lot. If you made it this far, comment protein down below in the description. Did you? Is anyone even still listening? And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Fans are going up tomorrow. Peace out.